Hello everybody, just checking out uh, the stream here, making sure everything is working, and we are uh, going to be good to go. Oh, wait a second here. Um, Sure that I am live testing things out here one second <clears throat> great okay I see me I hear me I got the live chat going generation 16 how are you hi there uh, hi there <laughs> Uh, okay. Good. Awesome. Well, welcome. This is one of my favorite game franchises. Hopefully it looks good and uh, sounding good. Um, I, I don't know if you guys have been watching uh, content for years, but, uh, or any given amount of time, but I have always loved the Wipeout franchise. I freaking adored wipe out on uh, the Vita and uh, love that they made a PS3 upgrade uh, with Vita content put that on the the uh, Wipeout HD uh, game that they had on PlayStation 3 but of course this is the uh, the 4k enabled uh, and speaking of which I have my PlayStation VR set up into into the uh, into the console so I just want to fix that give me one second here so uh, this is going into and this is going into this, and this is going into this. There we go. Uh, okay, that looks better. All right, because I've heard that this is a, a true 4K game, and I won't run it 4K as an output through broadcast, but I wanted to see... Uh, if I can change this to make it look like a 4K thing here, okay. Motion blur off. Um, actually, I might have to restart this thing. Just give me one second. Um, I'm popping out just into the front end menu. I don't know what happens when I do that, but uh, just making sure that it we're running, we're broadcasting in 4K here. One second. Um, sound and screen. Um, sorry, one sec. I should have done this before. Um, one thing I can't stand about the PlayStation VR is you, uh, video output settings. Here we go. Uh, not set. Automatic, automatic. Deep color, video output information. Okay, looks like we're good. Okay, uh, the PlayStation VR outboard box does not do a pass through on uh, 4K signals. So if you, um, <laughs> it's like Windows 98. Uh, so if you stick the PlayStation 4 Pro output into the PlayStation VR box, it automatically outputs a 1080p signal on your TV. I have a swanky 4K TV, so I want to see this thing in the best, resolu best resolution I can. Um, okay, so I, I, I've done enough whining about my, uh, my, uh, my silly problems here, um, first world problems. Let's play a little Wipeout, shall we? Um, and let's see, I've got some other people on here. Good to see everybody. I hope, uh, I hope uh, you're not playing hooky from your work or your school, but it's all good. Fred, how are you? Uh, Taz, good to see you. Wild, Wild Willow, uh, Adrian Leon, uh, Drew Heckart, uh, Emmanuel Goldstein, The Last Disciple, fantastic. Generation 16, so good to see everybody. I'm sure you're tired of me talking for a second here. Let's go play a little, uh, uh, little Wipeout. So 2048 was the uh, Vita game, HD was the PlayStation 3 game, and Fury, I believe, was 
an add-on pack for the Vita, and then they brought it over to the HD GAM. If I'm trying to keep all my uh, uh, my uh, wipeout history correct here. Let's just start with uh, something simple. We'll start with uplift mode. It's been a while, guys. All right. Uh, I just came off of playing ARMS, so I, it took me a long time to learn how to play ARMS. Now I've got to unlearn ARMS and relearn Wipeout, so let's do that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I like it a little Hi, dirty, a little more Star Warsian. All right. Uh, Andrew, good to see you. Oh, man. Emac, how are you? Doing terrible. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And Tekken and Injustice 2, yes, Taz. It's been a crazy... Oh, man, that's pretty. Wow. Okay. All right, let's see how I do. Now, I can't read and race at the same time, so you guys probably you can understand that. Oh, my God, this is gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. oh my Lord, the sun flares. This is ridiculous. So, if anybody has never played a PlayStation, uh, you know, Wipeout game in the past, boy, have you been missing an incredible franchise. For my money, it's the preeminent anti-gravity racer out there. Uh, I like it better than F-Zero. I like it better than, frankly, any other AG racer I've played since. Um... And it's a, it's a combat racer, so it's a lot like Mario Kart with these futuristic cars. And the first Wipeout came out with the launch of the very first PlayStation. And um, prior to that game coming out, I used to read about it in magazines, and I know that it was in the movie Hackers that Angelina Jolie was a star in. They had an early version of uh, what Wipeout was going to look like. It had this aesthetic, this designer uh, designer's republic aesthetic, which was just stunning, just breathtaking, and, and so revolutionary in its day. So this is, you know, 20, 22 years ago, 23 years ago. And uh, there's been a lot of good sequels over the years. A um, couple of good ones on the PlayStation 1. PlayStation 2 was a little disappointing, but the uh, HD version was excellent, and the Vita game was uh, amazing as well. And I still play the Vita one from time to time. You know, pretty much any time I boot up the Vita, I load up Wipeout. But now it looks like th this is the... Uh, complete. It's got a gold. This is the preeminent version. Look at the shine off of the vehicles. Oh, my Lord. So gorgeous. Yeah, I've always loved this. I turned the music off. Music is a huge, central, important part of the... Uh, experience of Wipeout, but, uh, you know, I just didn't want any flags or issues with the, uh, uh, with the music in the game. Um, but you really shouldn't play this game without music cranked, and uh, you want to have the shiniest TV you can, because this has always been a game about beauty and, and you know, this sort of uh, clean aesthetic. Pfizer. And, of course, what happens is you unlock all kinds of cool weapons and stuff like that. Man, can't wait to try this. Love Wipeout. Uh... You lost it. Oh, it was one of the free games that you got, Wild Willow. That's great. Hey, Spider-Man's here. <clears throat> when Spider-Man shows up, he should do the um, the Civil War intro. Hey, everyone. Right? Very low-key. Hey, everyone. All right, let's see. So I'm playing, um, you, you know, beginner level here. Just to get, just to get, uh, you know, acclimated, get my uh, my wipeout sea legs back on. So for those that don't know, the way that uh, you control this game is um, you, you've got your accelerator button, of course, but the uh, a central and huge component of playing wipeout are your air brakes which are on each of the two trigger gold buttons. Look at me. Session. Just Commit. cleaning up on gold medals. Uh, this is the easy mode. Um, you uh, use the air brakes to do the bank turns around uh, the, the very tough chicanes in this game. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Chicanes. Um, 
and uh, oh, okay. Pfizer. Uh, things get monumentally more difficult as you progress in this game because your vehicle ends up going, you know, hundreds of kilometers an hour, and uh, you can basically you feel like Roger Moore from Moonraker, with his cheeks all rippling back when he had all the uh, the G forces on him. Um, that's how it. That's how it feels when it when this game starts to get really fast. It's like <sighs> I can't deal. Uh, so this, I think I'm just basically trying to survive as long as I can. But they've done some really cool... This is almost like you're, you're playing the wipeout video game within the game kind of thing. Like the, this is a virtual uh, simulation with a, uh, you know, an environment that keeps changing. God, it's gorgeous. Like every frame of this is a... Uh, is uh, you know a portrait Sound you flash. could clip out and hang on your wall and frame it you know it's beautiful I'm, I'm sure there's a kick-ass photo mode in here too they know how to appreciate the uh, the beauty of the design with this franchise it's a little you know shocking that Sony hasn't just said look okay it, you know, I, I know that um, you know there's a price to return uh, um, equation in here, but you know the Wipeout franchise is really kind of—it's just been sort of dormant, right? I mean, this is a um, this is an up-res. This is a, a remastered version of, of stuff that's already been out, um, and it's a franchise that I don't know, kind of like um, like the Burnout franchise that I just hate that there's ever a pause in this action, you know? Like, these games should be continuously Silver coming out. Metal. They're amazing. There are some games that you actually hope would have a yearly release cycle, and this Gold is one of them. Awarded. Gold medal. I'm crushing this game! On the baby mode. Zone 10, clear. It'd be amazing to have a um, uh, a track editor and Rapier. do like the Mod Nation Racers kind of play, create, share uh, treatment on the Wipeout universe. I've always loved the universe. Like I know we just see the craft, but I just I think that there's potential there, right? Like you, you could do a really cool animated series around uh, this anti gravity racing league. And, let us explore these city streets that just look amazing. Me having a uh, a pitch meeting with myself while I play wipe. <laughs> well, and you guys. So if there are any uh, Sony executives watching right now, call me and let's make a wipeout animated series. See, this gets faster and faster, and it's basically survive as far as you can. Energy, Energy is critical. I'm hitting the wall a little too much. Thinking about that animated series instead of the race. Oh, and I'm dead. Vaporized. Very Tron-like. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm reading through some of the question. Warco, this is great. Warco with the question that pops out in a huge way. It's easy to see. I appreciate that very much. Vic, have you had a chance to experience Player Unknown Battlegrounds? No, I have not. Um, I have not. I have not loaded up uh, a Steam system in a while because we, I've just been inundated with all of these pretty kick-ass console escapes, and I've been trying to carve my way through them and get you guys some reviews and some some streams and stuff. Uh, but I know that I have to play that game. Everybody keeps telling me that I got to check that thing out. Um, uh, thank you, Drew. Great channel. Appreciate all your content and collabs with with Happy Console Gamer. I love Johnny. I'm seeing Johnny in a few hours. We're gonna go see uh, the new Mummy movie with Tom Cruise tonight, so I can't wait for that. Hey, Greg Seward is there. Unbelievable. How are you? Good to see you. Greg Seward used to work with uh, with EGM, and now he's a he's a game maker. That's Generation 16. Uh, so he's he's got a long history in the video game space. Got another question from Taz. Great to see you here, Greg. 
Uh, any news for Saturday's press conferences? Yes, we are actually putting together a brand new video, Bear is cutting it right now, uh, EP's 10 Most Anticipated Games of E3 2017. That'll be going live very soon, and in that video, and I'll tell you guys all here right now, the, the plan is uh, Bear and I are going to be streaming um, during and after all the press conferences on uh, the weekend, uh, so the big ones, Saturday and Sunday and Monday. Um, it might have a guest or two, uh, that probably will be a Skyped in guest. Um, still to be determined, but we're going to be talking about all of the announcements, going right into it, talking about uh, what we like, what we don't like. Um, and then on Tuesday, Blake and I are getting up at the god-awful early time in the morning, and we're uh, racing to uh, the airport, and we're heading to Los Angeles to hit the show floor for uh, E3 demos and interviews and hands-on videos. Um, and then I'm also shooting with uh, Ben uh, Silverman, Steve Tilly, and Jose Sanchez. Uh, at the end of E3, it's the last thing that we're going to do, like we have for the last several years, um, just do an E3 wrap-up and uh, talk about what we've seen and experienced. Guys, i gotta, I got to be honest, I, I really, like, as I was shooting and cutting my review of ARMS last night, I don't know if you guys have caught it, but uh, it's a really great game, and uh, I, I was having so much fun with that game, I, I really just wanted to jump back into that game and play it. I was like, okay, I, don't, I really don't want to edit this review right now. I just want to go play that game. It was so fun. But I, it really struck me like we are having a magical year. Like video games are on fire right now. Uh, I, I, you know, I hope they're selling. I hope the, the good games are getting found and people are, are finding some success. Uh, with New these with these titles because we have had great game after great game after great game Cannon. Since the beginning of the year. It's like really been one of the strongest years I can remember and we aren't even into E3 yet So if E3, you know Knocks us out and we have some amazing stuff to look forward to to wrap up 2017 This is a, pr there's a pretty good chance. This is gonna be the best year games have ever had and it's uh, it's incredibly exciting so weird to make a big statement like that and just like say it into thin air while I'm playing a video game but knowing that some people heard it and now you're taking that in and you're saying what is that guy smoking uh, and you're going to tell me in a bunch of comments that I can't read yet because I am racing and if I start reading comments then people are watching me rush into the wall and that's not fun for anyone um, but I'll read some comments in a little bit here, but I've been having fun, and I continue to have fun. This is very fun. This is a fun Wipeout game. Wipeout is made in the UK, and that's where I'm from. I'm from the UK as well, Race and I just want to go medal. medal awarded. All right. It's oy vey. Johnny left a bad pun on the EPN's arms review. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Best of E3. Hey, Blade Blur, how you doing? Uh, the Last Disciple, Michael Caine time. Yes, I always pull up the Michael Caine. <laughs> you guys tell me if you're getting sick of that, all right? I, I, won't, I won't be Michael Caine. I won't be Michael Caine. If you tell me you've had enough, Michael Caine, I will stop doing your Michael Caine impression, and we'll find another voice to do. Uh, what? The, I just got, like, some crazy bug thing there. What was that one? Um, all right, so you guys have watched me just Clean up on gold medals. Let's go back and try a tougher difficulty level. Is this unlocked? Let's see. Yes, it is. Let's play single race on warped level. All right. I'm on some of the strawberry cough. <laughs> no, you know what I am? I'm high on wipeout. Is that a thing? Question for Vic uh, from Adrian. If you want to end up using smartphones for the, if you have to, we have to end up using smartphones for the Nintendo Switch voice chat while playing online. What app available do you recommend? Uh, Boosh, I'm so confused about what Nintendo's got planning there. I, I would assume that they are thinking. I, honestly, I have no idea what they're thinking. Maybe they're thinking that that uh, people with smartphones would want to create like Wi-Fi hotspots. So that people can you can play 
um, switch stuff online even when you're not at home with your regular Wi-Fi and you can use your cell signal and that's why they said let's tie it to cell phones. I, it's so confusing, you know? I, I just picked up the uh, Pro Controller looking for my PlayStation 4 controller and I thought why didn't they just put a, a little mini jack adapter thing on the bottom of this and let me plug in a, uh, a headset like I can do on the nice. Xbox and the PlayStation 4. Like, you know, I, I know Nintendo got to be Nintendo, but I, honestly, we should be able to just have our online streaming conversational stuff right through the machine itself. We shouldn't have to have dongles and extra loops and things, you know, it's crazy. Let's take a moment and appreciate the beauty of this game. Bomb. Bomb. That hurt. Ouch. Nice. Got this on surround sound, so I've got all the cars racing right behind me. It sounds incredible. It looks incredible. Oh, we're so spoiled. Man, don't you guys ever want to go back and talk to your 10-year-old uh, video game loving self and say, you're not going to believe it. You are not going to believe what you're going to get to play later on. Even the 1995 version of me playing the first Wipeout. I'd love to be able to show that person this. Right, this is no challenge. I'm gonna I'm gonna up the ante a little bit and see if uh, I can find a level that I have to fight for my golds. One of the things that I noticed about the Vita game. Race complete. And it was interesting because I, I had my uh, I had my uh, laser eye surgery right around the time the uh, the Vita version of Wipeout came out, and it was so detailed. There never been a there had never been a racing game on a, a handheld system with as much um, stuff in the background as you're racing around. It was so fast. I found it incredibly tough with my new eyeballs. Uh, and the speed of that game and the details in that game, so I, I've got to beat the warp level before I can move on, so we'll do a couple more things here, to, to make out everything. So I'm actually kind of psyched that I'm playing this on a big screen and I can, I can see all of the cool stuff that they, they have in this game now. So choose a team. I want to choose a different team. Let's see what we got here. How do I choose a different team? Oh, maybe I have to go all the way back. Let's see. Campaign, HD, Warped, <clears throat> um, Motor Race, oh, I do have different teams, okay, so I could be these guys or those guys, there was a bug one, that, oh, that looks amazing, I like it, oh, that's cool, that's like out of Halo right there, isn't it, these ship designs are amazing, Freaking cool. What was that bug one? Look at how many of them they have. This is so good. Oh, man. So slick. Piranha, right. Right, right. Faisa. Goteki. Oh, this was it. Let's try this one. Mirage. Oh, looks crazy. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Enjoy. I'm at the cottage. If uh, if I don't go for a lake around the lake on this gorgeous day, apparently I'm going to find myself single. Yes, Fred. Get out there. Enjoy. Get some air. Uh, this is why no one has been covering games as long as he has, and he's still so excited about them. Oh, man. Generation, you rock. Thank you, Greg. Um, Chris Kioski, what a throwback. This looks sick. Right? That's what I'm saying. Expert Gaming. Andrew, my life will be over when that's out. It's my all-time favorite game. Vic is forever 29. Oh, are you guys talking about my age? You guys are awesome. You had laser eye surgery? Uh, I had laser eye surgery. Yeah, I, ha I was starting to have to wear glasses. If you guys um, ever see the, the Ted Vancouver uh, speech I did, I was wearing glasses at the time because... Uh, 
I, I needed them to be able to read the uh, the prompter. I I, I, I was nearsighted, and so I had uh, laser surgery, which meant that when we go to movies and things like that, I was starting to wear glasses. Um, and on the show, I never wore them. And I I hosted the Canadian Video Game Awards one year, and uh, I didn't wear my glasses because it wasn't how I, I looked on TV. And Scott wears his glasses, and I just thought, okay, well. Anyways, I didn't wear them. And they had to make the prompter type so large, it was hilarious. It was like Elmer Fudd. No, not Elmer Fudd. Who was, who was the uh, uh, Mr. Magoo-sized um, tele teleprompter type? And uh, I was like, okay, this has gone on long enough. I got to go get my eyes, eyes checked out. And, and so I got this uh, laser surgery. And so what happens is... I'm not nearsighted anymore. I'm, in fact, I'm farsighted because you've got like these two shades of your, you know, many dimensions to your vision. But you kind of have to make a choice, and so now I can see things at a distance and with, with real clarity, like going to movies and concerts and looking up at the mountains and all that stuff. Awesome, no problem. Um, it's just that when I have stuff too close to my eyes now, because my vision has got the, uh, you know, the laser augmentation. Um, which sounds way cooler than it actually is. I, I think they just cut the flap and flap it over and then burn it onto your retina. It's really weird. Um, uh, but because I have that, my near vision is actually a little bit blurrier. So sometimes if I'm staring at a at phone screen for too long or if I have the 3DS too close to my head, uh, it's uh, it kind of sucks. And that's, that's actually what happened when... Uh, when the, the Vita version of Wipeout came out, it's like right around that time, it was like, I can't make out all the details, everything's so tiny. And I actually had to like hold the Vita too far away from my face, you know, so I was not enjoying the experience that I could have. And so that's why, long-winded story, it is awesome Missile. that Wipeout is on a 4K television set. Very cool. And I like being this little bug Race creature. Complete. This is cool. Gold medal Cleaning awarded. up on gold medals. Cleaning up on gold medals. Um, uh, no, I didn't have a problem wearing glasses. And my uh, my wife actually misses the glasses that I used to wear. You can check out how I looked in glasses in that TED video. Uh, beautiful, beautiful effect on the track surface. Absolutely, Jen. Uh, Greg. Uh... I could do Bond. Uh, do you mean Sean Connery Bond? My name's Bond. James Bond. He pulls a knife, you pull a gun. He sends one of yours to the hospital, you send one of his to the morgue. That's the Chicago way. Although Bond never said that. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Where do we go? Let's try 2048. Yeah. Let's give this a shot. Whoa. You guys seeing that? Oh, I'm having some crazy uh, 4K style. My, my TV and my receiver and my P PS4 Pro are all freaking out a little bit here. I have to quit this game for a second and restart it.